many of the surveys that Ericsson has uh, conducted this year point to the fact that operators are increasingly looking at uh, building uh, service agility capabilities. Their key business driver is service agility, more so than cost in the previous years. And we also forecast that in the coming years, this service agility focus is going to graduate into an even more bigger focus on business agility, which is on-demand customer uh, networks and on-demand customer uh, capabilities that you can potentially expose and lay out over, over an API. While 5G has significant consumer applicability, it has even more significant applicability to enterprise customers. So it's as a product manager who supports our enterprise customers in particular, it's an exciting time to really have that as a focus of the this new technology. And it's important because it enables us to build solutions and build clouds closer to the customer's edge. That's where that multi-access edge compute comes into play and that's necessary to deliver what we call the real-time enterprise. What's happening about uh, moving function towards the edge? Uh, that the numbers of uh, sites, the number of equipment, uh, the number of configuration grows. So automation becomes uh, more important in that case that for central location because uh, you, you have to deal with uh, many, many, many pieces uh, and, and putting them together without automation is a nightmare. Uh, so we've launched Universal CP. For us, I mean, this, this is already our edge. But uh, we are trying to see what comes uh, beyond this Universal CP. Uh, and, and we are in the process of building uh, an edge strategy beyond the Universal CP. And, and this is going to be based on uh, us being able to deliver kind of a tenant space on on the on the edge device where we can only we, we can not only deliver our own functions our own vnfs that are going to be always related to connectivity or security but also enable partners to uh, consume that infrastructure that we manage to deliver third-party applications. When you talk about edge solutions, then of course you know you have the entire uh, you know concept around what is what is the edge, and we probably don't want to want to go into uh, into that uh, uh, now. Now we we already a number of years ago um, I think made a big step um, with our initial UCPE um, uh, launches, uh, which we which we did, um, which is a, which is obviously an inherent platform which we offer as part of our overall uh, VNS um, uh, solutions. We had um, uh, solutions available based on uh, based on Dell. Just yesterday, we, we um, you know um, uh, we made uh, you know there was an announcement uh, uh, on a new UCPE platform uh, using using Lander, which allows us actually go a little bit down market into the you know into some of the smaller uh, customers as well. We see lots of interest from customers to go to 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 use you know an, an edge solution like that gives them the flexibility to deploy you know the solutions they want they actually continue to push us because some of them are saying hey great could i actually deploy my own solutions in there and sometimes we need to limit their enthusiasm you know it's it's it may be an edge but it doesn't necessarily mean that we are all of a sudden becoming you know uh, you know a google or an amazon huh? you know so it's an edge for very specific applications when it makes sense you know we can obviously accommodate uh, customers but uh, you know we're uh, we're obviously not all of a sudden turning into a cloud provider. The enterprise will need specific service with, with certain um, experience for the end user. There's nobody else best positioned than the operator to really understand what they need to do in the network in order to provide that service. So we do see the importance of, of you know, communication service provider to establish that edge sites as the entry and point for these new services with enterprises. The biggest edge in the world is those of, uh, of, the, of the telecommunication networks. It's uh, extremely easy, uh, the uh, uh, infrastructure that is, I mean, the ICT infrastructure that is closer to users, closer to the endpoints, and is able to provide the uh, uh, support for these uh, short, very short loop decisions, very low latency, very much focused on the, uh, on the particular application. So as an opportunity, is an ideal opportunity because no one else has this, I mean in general, no one else in the sector has the same kind of pervasiveness that the telecommunications networks have. The challenge is managing something like a cloud 
managing a, a, something like a cloud that is the, the farthest possible from the, re, the current cloud deployments. Instead of having a highly centralized, extremely regular environment situated in one place, well connected to the rest of the world, what you have is that you have, man, you have to manage in the same style of that, an extremely heterogeneous, highly distributed environment that is very well connected among the different components, but is not located in a single place. You know, if you look at uh, classic distributed computing, which this all is, you know, um, you always get these waves of, you know, centralization and then distribution. And um, I think that's probably a standard resource model in many industries. Um, we've had this um, cloud, very, very useful cloud um, centralization uh, um, model that's, that's permeated the world and has been incredibly useful. I should add, by virtue of having a global internet network that's up and running and, uh, and provides service, um, one um, doesn't want to underemphasize the importance of having networks there. But um, um, very, very useful economy of scale. It's like the big hypermarket at the edge of town. You can get everything at bulk a lot cheaper there, and that's fantastic. Tons of services provided there, all of the SaaS. Um, inevitably, though, to use that analogy still, people do want the local supermarket. They want, they want less latency. <laughs> they want to, um, um, they want to uh, get what they need when they need it, and um, they don't always need to travel to the edge of town to get that. So edge really is a, uh, a distributing of the cloud model, if you like, um, but across the network. We talk about it being the edge, but where is the edge? You know, it could be right down to the sensors, but it could be all the way back up to, to you know, to, to um, sites, data centers. I think it's a continuum, really. I mean, ultimately, um, concepts like ubiquitous computing have been around for years where you will get the compute power, the storage power, um, and the packet pro uh, processing that you need where you need it. And um, this is just the next wave in, 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 in the bow wave, really, of, of, um, or the sine wave of things changing. There's lots of definitions of the edge. There's from the IoT device side, there's from the access side, whether it's MEC or, or RAN related, virtual RAN, et cetera. There is central office edge. We have some work called Next Generation Central Office, and, there's, and then there's of course moving up to the cloud, et cetera. So there's a spectrum of the edge projects. Each one of those has different needs. So there's lots of solutions across the open source industry that can do that. Uh, there's others, you know, there's um, edge work happening in CNCF, there's edge work happening in OpenStack Foundation. So there's a myriad of projects that are trying to bring solutions in to help meet this edge, edge needs. And I think there's a lot of those things that are going to get adopted and explored over the coming years here.